This is a day in the life of an expat in Amsterdam. It's a beautiful summer day in Amsterdam, and it's hot. And there's no air conditioning in houses in this country. I really don't feel like going to the office today, but I might just have to. I usually call home first thing in the morning or late at night because, well, home is nine hours behind back in California. And to be honest, I don't really know where home is anymore. But I do love living abroad. However, the worst part of living abroad is being so far away from family. Let's go get some water, a cup of cold water to start the day, and then it's time for morning meditation. I wake up with a lot of thoughts, and meditating helps me calm down and to relax, to get myself ready for the day. And to get myself even more ready, coffee time. I then do some journaling with the three things I'm most grateful for, plus anything else that's on my mind. And then I read for 10-15 minutes on my Kindle. This is probably when my stomach starts growling, and I know it's time to eat something. I usually have something easy like a croissant or bread, but I am out of bread. But luckily, I have a supermarket nearby. Off towards my morning stroll towards the park. When it's sunny in this country, you really have to take advantage. And what's nice in the summertime is that the sun comes out really early. It's been a good summer so far. So usually I try to get out here in the morning to go for a walk, sometimes a jog. It's about three, four k around the park, but it's also really nice in the morning when there aren't too many people, and you can hear the the birds chirping, and it's a great way to start the day. Okay, back home, and it's time to start work. I love working from home, but it's starting to get really hot and stuffy, and again, there's no AC here, so. Let's go to the office, and of course, by bike. Decided to cycle towards work to the office. It was getting too hot in the apartment, and it's about a seven-minute bike ride to the train station. And then I'll take the train for another ten minutes towards the office. Public transportation in the Netherlands is extremely convenient, and many companies here pay the commute costs for employees. That's a really nice benefit to have. That was a quick 10-minute train ride to the office here in Hofdorp. It's a bit outside the city, but the nice thing about the Netherlands is that public transportation is really efficient, and you can get anywhere in a very short amount of time. It's also getting quite hot, and so there's no air conditioning at home, and so a lot of people. Like myself, are going into the office even on a Friday. Okay, so the office is quite empty, probably because everyone in Europe is traveling on vacation, and I mean everyone. As an introvert, I love this new way of working. Offices are never packed. I can actually book a conference room when I need to, and meetings are a lot more bearable on Zoom. It's lunchtime, and luckily we have a canteen. I think I'll probably get a sandwich, but not a typical Dutch sandwich. I want something a little bit more: yes. lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, meat, cheese, everything. And after lunch, a quick walk outside. Well, as you can tell, we are no longer in the city. And back to work. 
I spend a lot of my time at work talking, teaching, and explaining things to people, and also drinking a lot of coffee. Everyone's working hard, right? Yes. <laughs> so we do have a gym in the office. That's a really nice perk, and it's relatively quiet. Empty on a Friday afternoon, but it's nice to get in here to get a quick workout in before I leave for the weekend. Oh, it's someone's birthday, and in the Netherlands, when it's someone's birthday, you congratulate everyone else for that person's birthday. It's half past four, and it's boro time. And boro is an informal gathering where there are drinks and snacks. We have it every week. Today, it's on a Friday because someone else. Is also celebrating her birthday. It's also Dutch tradition for the birthday person to bring cake and to bring snacks. But yeah, great way to end the week. And because I'm planning to go to the beach later, I bought an extra sandwich from lunch for early dinner. It's half past five and just got off of work. Heading down to The Hague, Den Haag, the beach to meet some friends and just relax. The day was quite productive in the office. Most, if not all, my meetings were online on Zoom, despite me being in the office. But I guess this is the world of work in today's world now. But excited to hit the beach. And because the Netherlands is the cycling country of the world, you can rent bikes from many stations for four euros per day, which is really nice because you can take the train to any city, rent a bike, and tour the city. So cycling towards the beach, there's some really nice houses here. I think this is definitely probably the the fancy rich area that people talk about. But uh, another 20 minutes to go until we hit the beach. We're almost there. Oh, I went to the wrong beach. Went to 10 instead of 9, so have to go back and cycle to beach 9. But almost there, almost there. Time for a, a pit stop. Just saw all these cows behind me uh, just grazing somewhere. They're hungry. I'm getting hungry as well. Yeah, almost there, almost there. The Hague is known for many things, but did you know they also have some really nice beaches. Hello, oh, I got lost again. Yeah, it's a nice one. Say hello. So there you have it, a day in the life in the Netherlands in the summertime. Started off with a walk in the park and ended with sunset hair in The Hague. And yes, there's a beach in the Netherlands and the sunsets are really nice. When the weather is nice, this country is, well, beautiful. Anyways, hope this was enjoyable, helpful to see what a day in the life looks like in the Netherlands in the summertime. Take care.